Hello everybody and welcome back. CDS here bringing you part 9 of my Pokemon Platinum Let's Play. Thank you guys for joining me again on a wonderful Pokemon adventure. So, it has been about two days since I recorded part 8 of this Let's Play. I took a couple days to just kind of take care of some personal matters. So, I'm back with more Pokemon Platinum. And uh, in between videos, I also went ahead and did more PK Hexing. In this case, I also gave myself all of the Poké Traps... Uh, FYI, these two, these two right here, these are actually ones that were event exclusive. I honestly don't know why a stopwatch was event exclusive, but it was. This one is for breeding purposes. It shows if the Pokemon can breed or not. It's very vague about it, though. This is to, like, change the color of the Poketch background. I'm going to change it to purple because I just like the hue of that. And then another, I think this is another stopwatch? I don't know what the fuck that's for. Oh, maybe that's an alarm. I don't know what that is. I don't quite know what that is. That's some kind of weird roll wheel thing. I don't know. Touch! I did. <laughs> I don't know what that's for. Oh, and a calendar, which is cool. Yeah, you can tell it's the 15th of June on the recording of today. This is cool, though. I like this. This is like a... This shows you kind of like type uh, type chart, which is awesome. And I really, really wish that they incorporated this later in other games. Because uh, it would be really good to just look it up on this rather than look it up online. Like, you can see the, the, the little bar on the left here shows the effectiveness and stuff. It's really cool. I like that. Coin flip! And heads! Nope, tails. Oh, well. Link searcher. I don't even know what that's for. This map feature, though, if I do decide to do the uh, legendary Pokemon, um, then I will be using this map feature to hunt down the roaming legendaries. Because this is the... Easiest slash only way to actually get them once you locate. And then the clock, and then I guess that's just a ticker. I don't know. My current list of obtained Pokemon in order. That's a hatch thingy. Oh, berries. Okay. So I've been, I'm, I've been missing berries. This is the uh, uh, item searcher thing. I don't ever use it. Okay, what is this? It's gonna fucking <laughs> make all my Pokemon jump. Alright, so I usually keep it on the Pokemon Party. Just kind of my personal taste. But anyway, I've dicked around long enough. Time to get back into the swing of things. Luxedo, Galea, Floria, Ripples, Starbird, and Flurry. Although Starbird is pretty much only in my party right now because... Um, I want to turn it into a Staraptor, and also I need it for Fly. But outside of that, I'm not really going to be using... Actually, you know what? I'm going to at least level up Star a Staravia to Staraptor here. Right, so i got to get rid of these Psyducks that are blocking the way. Apparently they have some sort of wicked migraine, and I had to come and cure their migraine or something. I don't really know. Hi, Cynthia. Oh, good. You used Zika Potion I gave you. Psyduck are known to suffer from chronic headaches. But no one's been able to figure out what triggers the headaches. Oh, yes, can I ask you a big favor? Oh god, what now? I want you to deliver this old charm to my grandma in Celestic Town. I know there are some rare Pokemon between here and Celestic Town, so it'll be worth your while to go. Well, I don't really have a choice in the matter, because I have to do it to progress the plot, so I don't even know why it gives me a yes or no option. <sighs> my grandma has this sort of bossy atmosphere about her. I think you'll recognize her right away. Yeah, I'm sure you will. She's the elder of Celestic Town. And the location, look on your town map. You can't miss it. Okay, I'm counting on you. See you down the road. I like Cynthia. Cynthia is both beautiful, posed, and also powerful. Favorite champion by far. No one can contest with it. Oh, fuck. Brave Bird died. That's a lot of damage. Oh, another Krogon that I have to hit with Brave Bird. And hurt myself even further. Wait, do I have Defog on anybody? I don't think I do. Oh, that's right. I forgot to fucking get that goddamn fucking... Blech. Hold on. 
Should I even... No. Damn it! I literally turn and then there's Pokemon. Alright, well I'm gonna activate a Repel because I don't want to be encountering random shit over here. I kind of just want to get my butt a moving. Or I get encountered by a show. That works too, I guess. I'll catch this Machop though, because it's female and I'm weird like that. If I do go after the legendaries, obviously it's just going to be Master Ball City. If that wasn't obvious enough by this point. Red Shard. Alright, do I want to... Fuck it, I'll fight you. As an ace trainer, I have to take battles in stride. I need to stay cool and calm whether I win or lose. Well, it's too bad I'm gonna fucking destroy everything that you know and love. Oh shit, why does it have Shockwave? It's a bloody A-bomb, man. Why do you have... Damn it. That's a fucking pain in my balls. Alright, fine. Gloria. She ain't gonna take none of your shit. Energy Ball and die. <laughs> Giraffe rig. I have no dark. Oh, I have Luxedo. That's right. Luxedo has Night Slash. Sleep, sleep. Oh. Well, if I had Crunch, that would have definitely won a KO in the damn thing. I love when the fog only affects me. That's my favorite part. Alright. Grottle. Shysta. Do I have. Okay, yeah, I do. Flurry! Go for it. Air Slash, die. Oh, yeah, I think Togekiss might be final member. Because she just, she kicks so many kinds of ass, man. Including the asses of ass, man. You know what? I don't usually do this, but you know what? I don't want to fucking spend the next hour trying to fucking train up this damn Staravia now that I have uh, Togekiss. So, rare candies away. Drug up my bird. It needs the power of close combat. Goodbye, stealing. Alright, good. Now that you know how to do that, I'm going to switch you out for what I actually need to train, which is Galea and Flurry. Hey, you, battle me. I think this trio, this duel has a Raichu and a Gyarados. Yep, remember it all too well. Although I do see a problem now. <laughs> uh, Psychic Raichu, Ancient Power Gyarados. Oh, lovely. That was almost certain death. Thunderbolt Gyarados die. Flurry's gonna die if I get hit with that frickin' Raichu. And I just did. Lovely. Okay, Floria, I guess. Uh. Uh. Die. No, god damn it. Why is every time my freaking thing not hitting it in the face? Ugh, screw this fog. Alright, well, I gotta revive my Guard of War now. Wonderful. I mean, I'm not going to be in here very long, but you know what? Screw it. I mean, I can't really do much with Starbird at this point. Again, now it's just a, a now it's just a HM slave at this point. It's a shame that it doesn't get stuff like strength, though. The only moves it gets, I believe, are I don't even think it gets Rock Smash. Actually, I was thinking it might, but probably not. Alright, go away, Scyther. Next Pokemon is Luxio. You can tell I fought these two trainers a couple of times. Probopass. Fucking one hit KO Orosir to your face! I gotta say, Orosir is probably my favorite move. It's a high power, never missing, special based fighting move. I mean, that just screams like five levels of badass. At least three. I really just don't... I really just didn't get that I'm very underleveled right now. 
<sighs> oh well. Oh, I was also thinking, like, when I get Rock Climb, I'm gonna have to have something for that as well, and... I hate HMs, man. It forces me to have to either, A, replace a good move on one of my Pokemon for a shitty HM machine. I know I said that. Or B, like, like replace entire party members and, and just have HM slaves. So I either have to have, like, every Pokemon have one or two HMs, or I have to have two entire party members dedicated solely to HMs. Just so that I can get around everywhere. It's fucking stupid. I hate it. Alright, well. Let me double check my PC. See if there's anything that I have that can use. The eight gems that I need to use. I don't think I gave myself Tropios. Oh, okay. Well. I mean, Noctowl can get some of them. But fuck me, man. All my good Pokemon don't need it. Can't have my good Pokemon have it. I still love my Hellfire. Which means I still... Uh, Ugh. <laughs> son of a dick. Because uh, that's the problem. If I want to go with uh, Togekiss as my flying type, that means that I have to get rid of Staraptor. Which means that I no longer have something that can use Fly. Because putting Fly on Togekiss is just ridiculous. At least a raptor can use fly. Like, actually in battle. Gosh darn it. Ugh. I'm gonna switch off for Hellfire for right now. And, uh... Because I already have Surf on frickin' what's it say? Can it learn? No, it can't. Hellfire can run Rock Smash, but I wouldn't... Why, why would I want to give Hellfire a Rock Smash? Alright, well... Yeah, there's, there's an old spaceman. I didn't realize they were astronauts, but thank you. Unless she means, like, literally somebody from space, which, uh... That'd be actually funnier. <laughs> Alright, Thunderbolt, bye. Gardevoir's always had a harder time in every generation with dark types. Because the only dark type coverage move that she gets is Focus Blast. Um, and then Signal Beam, but then again, Signal Beam was removed in Gen 8, so she doesn't even get that anymore. Also, holy crap, I never noticed how dorky those fucking... The fucking... <laughs> the, damn, those things look so dumb. I never noticed how dorky those freaking hieroglyphs looked. I love it. It's awesome. And then these just look creepy. Mysterious designs cover a whole section of the wall. Three strange things forming a triangle. In the middle of them, a shining sphere? What is this all about? Hey, Granny. This cave painting means something to be this. There existed beings so powerful they were considered deities at the time. They were three Pokemon with power to match either be blah 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 blah. It's just talking about the legend of the lick of the Lake Trio and the Creation Trio. Well, more specifically, Dialga and Palkia, because they don't mention Giratina yet. Yeah, you're wrong. I'll challenge you. I'll beat your fucking blue-haired ass, you fucking onion. What is with that hair, anyway? That is some ridiculous hair. Alright. Murkrow, I don't care about you. I'm gonna kill you... with Hellfire! Her inaugural battle... To two hit K okay. Not need that to happen to me. Pull that. Fuck, why didn't I just switch out? Damn it. Oh well. Oh well, he sucks anyway. I think my hidden power is ground, but that's not gonna help me any. Yes, I know I could just switch out, which I probably will have to do anyway. Flinch? Nope. Damn it. Well, there goes that plan. Alright. Well, it's fine, it's fine. Nothing to worry about here, people. It's just a matter of beating up men with Pokemon monster things. Okay, so now I have the actual HM for Surf. Now, yes, I did have Surf on uh, 
on fucking Ripples this entire time, but... I mean, since I didn't have the HM for Surf, and I tried to go to the next town without it, it would have broken the plot. <laughs> I would have broken the game. So that's why I came all the way up here to get the Surf HM. So now I gotta go to Canalave City, which is just west of fucking whatever it's called. Oops, not that. Lie. It's just west of Jubilife. One of the biggest cities in the entire Sinnoh region. You can also go west here and it'll like talk to this guy who stands in here. He'll give you the old rod. But the reason that I never get it... <laughs> Or I didn't get it earlier is because I literally don't give a fuck because it's pointless. The old rod is just a way to get you water types early if you didn't pick Pepla. Which, of course, I don't have this issue, so I didn't bother. Uh, crap, Oli and the shit Oli. I haven't said that in a long time. Alright. If there's one quality of life improvement, I will say that Platinum has substantially over Diamond and Pearl is the speed of surfing. Your surfing speed is a little bit slower than your running speed on land. Which makes it... but I think it actually maybe the same speed, but I'm just like not paying attention very much. But the thing is, is that it's much faster than the walking speed, which was pretty much the speed of the surfing in Diamond and Pearl, which was a pain in the butt. It's why I don't really go back to Diamond and Pearl ever. I only play Platinum, because Platinum's just better in every way. Alright, so Barry's gonna attack us, or Roy, rather. So I'm gonna kick his ass, and then I'm gonna call it a video. Galea, Thunderbolt. Heracross, I did not want to not switch out, actually, but whatever. Floatzel, meet Florian. Energy ball to the face. Thankfully, most of his Pokemon have pretty poor defenses, so they're pretty easy to win a KO. Ripples! Kill the fucking pony! Die, you Shetland pony bastard. Alright. Tortora. This is probably a bad idea to set out Hellfire for this, but fuck it. Risking it. Oh, okay, so he's an idiot. He might not have Earthquake or something yet, so that's good. But I put Hellfire in the party because we're facing a Steel-type Gym Leader. So Hellfire is going to get nice and trained up. I don't think there's anything else I need to do in between videos with PKX except get that Tropius, but... I kind of don't really want to get that Tropius at the moment. So I think we're going to go ahead and call it a video here. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys have any suggestions for your content, please leave your suggestions in the comments section down below. I'm sure to pay so Dyrus. And if you enjoyed the video, please let me know by leaving a like and hitting that subscribe button so you can see more of my stuff in the future. And until next time, this has been ZDS. Thank you for finding one video at a time, and I will see you guys in the next one. Fuck, that was a long outro.